Clark, you can lead us off, please. Hey, Lonzo, how are you doing? Uh, Christian Clark with Nall.com. Um, just curious, um, you know, have you got a chance to talk to Stan Van Gundy yet? And just kind of what are your initial thoughts, um, you know, just getting a chat with him? Uh, yeah, I talked to him. I know he's happy to be here. Um, he's definitely excited you know, to get things going. Um, you know, I know his focus is on defense this year, so hopefully we come out and get a lot of stops and get out on the break and, you know, do the thing I like to do on the court. Um, but we get started on Sunday, so that's kind of day one of everything. What's up, Lonzo? This is uh, Will Killer with The Athletic. Obviously, this is a, a strange offseason, different from, you know, what we're all used to. But how important was it for you to have an offseason where you can work out fully on your body, on your game, unlike the past couple offseasons? Yeah, I know this was, you know, like you said, a different type of offseason. But for me, this is the longest offseason I've had. So, you know, I was definitely happy to be able to get that time to work on my game and uh, show what I can do this year. Hey, Lonzo, this is Schmidt from Bourbon Street Shots. Have you had an opportunity to watch any Steven Adams film? Uh, he's really good at boxing out, creating rebounding opportunities for guys like you. Uh, Coach Dan Van Gundy said you're going to be running a lot in transition. What do you make of that fit? Uh, I think it's a perfect fit. You know, he's probably the strongest guy in the, in the league. Um, he also has great touch as well, so I know I can hit him on the pocket pass. Um, but everybody knows how big he is, how strong he is. Um, seems like a good guy, and I'm excited to get out there and, you know, start playing with him. Christos, go ahead, please. Oh, yeah. Hello, Lonzo. How are you? Uh, I would like to ask you, how productive was the last season for you and what are your expectations about next season? One more time. How productive was the last season for you? I think the last season was, was a good learning lesson. I think it was full of ups and downs. Uh, I think it started off slow. And obviously, you know, it started going well. Then it went back down in the bubble. But um, it was my first year here. You know, I'm happy to be here. Um, and like I said, I just want to get things going again on a good – start off on a good note this year. And what are your expectations? For the upcoming uh, season. Definitely make the playoffs. I mean, make the playoffs and then go from there. Thank you. And Lonzo, it's Andrew from uh, ESPN. For for you, what was it like uh, watching your brother get drafted and then your other brother getting signed to a deal in Detroit? What was it like you as, as the big brother to kind of watch those two, uh, you know, see their dreams kind of come true a little bit, I guess? Yeah, just proud of them. You know, I've been with them the whole way. Um, since we was kids, you know, always been together, been very close. So to see them make it and uh, we all made it different ways. You know, that's, that's the beauty of it. But, uh, all, you know, go our own path and then meet up at the end is, is a great thing to see. Hey, Lonzo, this is uh, David Grubb with, uh, I mean, excuse me, with the birdrights.com. Um, my question for you is, as you go into this season, it's the last year of your contract with the Pelicans. There's always been this question about, um, your long-term future, how do you eliminate those kinds of things and focus on your contributions rather than the folks who, you know, are firmly in your corner, those folks who are firmly you have made up their minds about you? How do you just maintain your focus as a player? I just go out there and play my game, you know, do the things I can do on the court to help my team get as far as we can. And that's really all that matters to me. Uh, I'm not really too worried about all the free agency talk and all that stuff. I just want to go out there and help my team. Lonzo, it's Scott Kushner uh, from the Times Picayune. You know, you're going to be playing alongside Eric Bledsoe, uh, I think, a lot this year. Uh, I think uh, Griff mentioned that he thought both of you might be able to start together. How do you kind of see you guys complementing each other in the backcourt? And what kind of do you think you're going to have to do anything differently than maybe you had to do playing next to Drew? I don't think so. I think it would be kind of the same thing. Um, probably going to be one of the fastest back backcourts in the league. So that's a plus. Um, so just, you know, try to get into the ball as much as possible and uh, start the break. You know, I know Eric's, you know, great in transition. I know he's great, you know, penetrator as well. So for me, just, you know, when he has the ball, just give him space, spot up, and be ready to knock it down for him. Yeah, so uh, we know how uh, close you are to B.I. What did it mean to you to see him kind of lock down that contract and, and you know, shouldn't have the team commit to him long term the way they did? Yeah, I mean, he's earned it. You know, we all expected that. You know, um, you know, I'm glad they locked him down, and I'm happy he's still here.
Hey, Lonzo, uh, Christian Clark, one more time. Um, <clears throat> you know, you guys are going to be going through the 72 game season, you know, without the, or I guess the protection of a bubble. Um, just what is your, your mindset about, you know, dealing with this season from like a health standpoint um, and, you know, traveling, you know, while you won't be vaccinated for a large portion of it? Yeah, I mean, um, this year is, is different. It's going to be different. Uh, you know, the whole world is different right now. You know, do the things we can do to be as safe as possible. But, um, you know, obviously there's no guarantees. There's risk with everything. But um, just take the certain protocols that we got to take, you know, listen to the, to the doctors and everything, and then, you know, go out there and just play the game we love. Hey, Lonzo, this is Jim Eichenhoff for Pelicans.com. Uh, you just talked about Eric Bledsoe earlier. Obviously, you've played against him a bunch in the last few years. He's had a lot of accolades for what he does on the defensive end. What do you think are some of the reasons why he's such a good defensive player and, and why he's been, you know, all defense the last couple of years? Um, I think his mindset is one thing, and then obviously, you know, um, his athletic ability. I mean, he can get into the ball. Um, he's very quick. He's very strong. And uh, his lateral movement is great as well. So, I mean, all those things put together makes him a good defensive player. Hi, Lonzo. This is Ali Cosell with the Bird Rights. You already just mentioned that one of the expectations for you, obviously, is for the team to make the playoffs. But in reference to what you said back in September, I believe when you signed with Clutch, you had talked about how you watch what Brandon Ingram just had, the kind of season where he won Most Improved Valuable Player Award. How do you um, foresee yourself uh, getting to that award? Like, what, what, what can we expect from your game to imp uh, show improvement on the court this year? Um, I mean, just go out there and do the things you know, I know I can do on the court at the end of the day. Um, you know, I think I believe I'm a triple double threat every night. And that's what I'm going to go out there and try to do. Hey, Lonzo, Andrew Doak with uh, CBS in New Orleans. I'm just curious, you, you and Vincent spent so much time this year, you know, working on your shot and it really improved and him being retained by Stan Van Gundy. Is, is that big for you personally and for y'all to continue the work that you've kind of already put in? Definitely. You know, I was very excited. Uh, I know B.I. was as well, too, you know, seeing that Fred was back back on the staff. Uh, you know, we've been, you know, with, like you said, we was with him all year. Um, not only me, B.I. as well, and he's definitely helped us both a lot. So just to have him back, you know, it's a big, definitely a big confidence boost. And, uh, you know, we're just happy he's here. Just to quickly follow up on that, I mean, has Fred in some way, like, uh, just helped your confidence as a shooter and maybe you feel, like, more free-flowing out there at all, if, if that makes sense? Uh, for sure. I mean, he got my mechanics right. And um, we're just in the gym all the time, you know what I'm saying? So whenever you, you work on your craft, you're obviously going to get better at it. Lonzo, you talked before about the playoffs. Uh, last season, you were close to playoffs. You played in the bubble. Do you feel uh, with uh, those pieces, uh, with players like Bledsoe, Adams, and also J.J. Reddick from last season, you have the, the experience to make it, to go to the playoffs? Yeah, I think their leadership is definitely going to help. You know, those are, those are three key vets in the league. And you know, to have them all over here, you know, we're uh, thankful for them. And you know, we're going to look to those guys, you know, in our pressure situations. We know they came through before, so definitely going to look to them, you know, here. Hey, Alonzo, uh, Christian here again. Just one more for me. Um, but, you know, you're, you, you were pretty honest that last year, you know, there was a lot of improvement clearly with the shot and everything, but it was kind of up and down for you. I mean, what do you think it's going to take just to see the basketball from you that we saw, you know, from December to March for like that three-month stretch or whatever? Um, like I said, just go out there and play. You know, I, I know what I can do on the court. Um, it just comes down to consistency, really. You know, um, doing it in, night in, night out, and you know, taking it one game at a time. Great. Thanks a lot, Joe. Appreciate it.